Anti-pipeline activists in North Dakota could face arrest today if they don't move out of their protest camp. Work on the Dakota Access Pipeline is nearing completion. The nearly $4 billion project will carry oil from the Dakotas to Illinois. Protesters are concerned about potential damage to the environment and Native American cultural sites. Omar Villafranca is near the encampment in Cannonball, North Dakota, where a new showdown is looming. Omar, good morning. Good morning. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers say they will not extend today's deadline, and some here who oppose the pipeline's completion say they will not leave. But officials have made it clear today's mandatory evacuation order will be enforced. This is the, uh, the main contractor access, and this is where the protest first started. Law enforcement here in Morton County, North Dakota, are trying to avoid a confrontation that's been simmering for weeks. What do you expect to happen when the well, deadline comes? Well, they need to leave. I mean, that's that's what we expect to happen. Do do I actually believe that they will pick up and leave right on right on the 22nd? No, I don't. We're going to be forcefully removed on our own land. The camp population is now in the hundreds down from the estimated 10,000 only a few months ago when confrontations with police sometimes turned violent. They're protesting the completion of the Dakota Access Pipeline, which will run deep below a section of the Missouri River. They say it threatens their drinking water and will disrupt sacred Native American sites. We've asked for extensions and they were denied. Chase Iron Eyes is an activist attorney who has been camped out near the Standing Rock Sioux Reservation. This is a forcible Removal. It, it amounts to an ethnic cleansing. It's a place that Native nations have the internationally recognized right to be. The Dakota Access Pipeline. Last month, President Trump signed an executive action expediting the completion of the pipeline. North Dakota's Republican Governor Doug Burgum says he understands the protesters' concerns, but President Trump's message is clear. What do you think will happen? when the deadline comes. Do you think they're going to leave peacefully? We respect people's right to protest. Uh, we respect our, our neighbors and citizens that are, you know, enrolled members of the Standing Rock Sioux Tribe. But what we've got now is we have people that are obstructing our ability to conduct a cleanup in a floodplain of pollution that's been left behind. Uh, and that's something that I think all of us, you know, understand that that, that can't happen. Chase Iron Eyes told us that before the deadline, some protesters plan to retreat to the other side of the Cannonball River to camps that are not on federal land. Gail? Thank you very much, Omar.